Hey beautiful people, all praises to the most high. So here's the next message. Why do breakups hurt so bad? Why do breakups hurt so bad? Because you were not made to break up with somebody. Because you're not supposed to be having boyfriend and girlfriends to be breaking up with anybody. Um, God made marriage for us to have the perfect person that he designed for us because they balance us out. Um, we fit each other like a perfect glove, you understand? In everything. Um, you guys balance each other out physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, your attraction level, all of that. So, mentally. So, you guys balance each other out and you were made to be with that person forever. You're happily ever after. You understand? Um, we're not supposed to be having all these boyfriend, girlfriends, whatnot. Because we have our happily ever after. You understand? We actually, every single person has their fairy tale story. You get me? Um, and that's with their ordained spouse. Because breakups hurt so bad because marriage was not made to hurt you M marriage was made to bring you love and comfort to be a helpmate and a companion to give you friendship comfort intimacy you know support help you guys are accomplished together you build together you till together you work together you support each other and um that is what you're supposed to be doing with somebody forever and because s intimacy is so sacred but not like now people don't treat it as that but they do feel some type of way if somebody cheats on them some people want to fight them some people want to lash out you know what i mean so they know it's a form of a real form of big disrespect. They know it's a big betrayal to cheat on someone. They know that. But even that, that and, and it's hurtful. God didn't create marriage for that. That's why he told us, don't commit adultery, right? And, and like, he even told you, like, some other things not to commit. But breakups hurt so bad is because we we weren't we're not supposed to have a breakup who god puts together no man's supposed to put us under if we even have a problem with our spouse we're supposed to work it out like adam and eve you see how adam and eve has their story you have that uh, your own story with your ordained spells but guess what god didn't in, in, um, intend for your story to end he didn't intend for divorce he intended on everlasting but there is causes for divorce, as you read in the New Testament, right? But as you can see, the reason why a lot of people are unhappy is because of cheating, is because of lack of love, and because they don't have the person that they're supposed to be with. And they're just wasting time with all kinds of other people that they shouldn't be with. And what is it causing them? Hurt. And then what happens? They break up. And then they go on to somebody else. And then they break up again. Another hurt. D did God create marriage to be hurting? No. He created for you to be loved. Not for a month. Not for a year. Not for a couple of years. For everlasting. You understand? Ma marriage is supposed to be everlasting. That's why he says, who God put together, let no man put asunder. That's your partner. That's your best friend. Even you have a best friend, male or female that you know, that person's more of your best friend. You just haven't met them yet. Have you asked God for your wife? Have you asked God for your husband? That's your best friend. That's the one who balances you out. That's your support. That's your healing. You know, 
you guys balance each other out. You're, you benefit each other. You complement each other. You know what I mean? And you're blessed together. And there's so much great things that come with you being with who God created you for because he wrote your story. You're happily ever after. He wrote that for you. So breakups hurt because breakups shouldn't happen because you should have your ordained spouse. You should have your ordained marriage. You should have your happiness. You should have your story. And not to say that things don't happen in marriages, but God is the one who put it together. He can definitely put it back together and fix anything that happens. Put your trust and faith in God and understand that relationships were not meant to hurt you. But if you're getting into relationships, those will hurt you. They're not meant to hurt you. Marriage relationships, I should say. They're there to help you. But boyfriend, girlfriend relationships, you know that's just going to hurt you. Because you're going to break up and then there's a hurt. Right? But the love that God gave you to have, the, the love that, the type of love that God wants you to have from a spouse, from a person, from how someone's supposed to treat you, is the person He made for you. You understand? Not saying they won't be on their best behavior at all times. I'm not saying people are perfect, we all make mistakes. But that's for you to learn how to forgive, how to love. Are you being kindly affectionate to one another? Didn't Adam forgive Eve? You understand? That was a good husband. So we have to understand that we have to take accountability when we want that happiness in our life, when we want that happily ever after that God has made for us. When are you going to stop being outside? When are you going to stop being in these streets? When are you going to stop looking for validation from other people and you should have be with this person, that person, doing the most. When are you going to just get your happiness? When are you going to walk in your purpose? When are you going to walk in your destiny? When are you going to walk in your alignment of what? And when are you going to get your best friend, your partner, your help? And if you don't have them right now, you got to ask God, right? God, send me my wife, the one that you made perfect for me. God, send me my husband that you made perfect for me, for me, and block all the ones from the devil and the ones from the the workers of iniquity who would try to send in a false person to deceive me from getting the ordained life, the ordained wife, the ordained husband, the ordained marriage that you designed for me. Father, please give me my everlasting marriage please give me my everlasting love from the spells that you've given to me that you created for me when are you going to want that well when you want true love you'll get it when you ask for it but you also have to know when you're making prayers about your ordained spouse in your marriage the enemy will send in will send in a devil in a red dress you understand um basically i'm saying somebody who seems like they have the whole package and then they'll try to make your <clears throat> or real ordained spells look like they don't have it together that is the tactics of the enemy to deceive you and keep you from that everlasting life that life purpose and that journey that you have with that person god made you for keep you from that love that everlasting love keep you from what you're called to do with that person. And understand, so um, that's why a lot of people teach, they go into warfare prayer. There's a lot of warfare prayers. They go into spiritual warfare when they're, when they're ready for their kingdom marriage, when they're ready for their ordained marriage, when they're ready for their ordained spouse. They go into warfare. You understand prayers because the enemy doesn't like that. He hates love. So, and he would want you out in these streets, you know, 
doing the most because he knows that you're not in alignment of what you're supposed to be doing. So, therefore, beautiful people, I'm going to leave this message here. Why do breakups hurt? Because we ain't supposed to break up. We're supposed to have an everlasting marriage like Adam and Eve, forever and ever. Stay blessed.